Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 15th through January 21st. I have pre-shuffled this deck, as you can see, one card fell out. We're going to leave it right here, um, and I will shuffle it a little bit more as we get into your reading. But right now, I have my Ask Angels deck, so what I would like you to do is ask a question. Any question, and this card is is going to help you with the answer, okay? And we are going to reveal this card at the end. So think of the question that you would like to ask, and we will see what comes up at the very end. Let me see, what is it going to be? I guess it's going to be this one. Set it right there for now. And now I will get back to shuffling these cards. Now this is a weekly reading. This is meant for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. January 15th through the 21st. What do you have for Pisces? zoom this in in just a moment. Your intuition is trying to tell you something, okay? So really, really pay attention to it. You may be feeling very, very attractive this week. You may be absolutely glowing, okay? It feels like new doorways may be opening for you. Um, you may be moving to a more peaceful state of mind, you know, more serenity in your life, more serenity in your mind, something like that. Releasing conflicts, getting rid of it, just, just walking away from conflict, you know, in some areas of your life. But on one hand, you know, it feels like you may not be feeling very grateful or you may be feeling like you aren't where you want to be. You... You know, financially, perhaps, you may be feeling like you aren't making enough money or the money's not coming in ha fast enough. We're starting this reading out with a general reading, and then we're going to finish it up with love. Um, you may be feeling like you're, if you are working, you, you're not getting anywhere. You know, if you have your own business or, or, or you're in a job, you may feel like you're not making enough money, something like that. Like, it's just not growing the way you had hoped. You're not feeling... Uh, content enough financially you're looking for more money as <laughs> simple as that you deserve you feel like you deserve more money you should be making more money um you know but new doors are opening so look at it as if maybe you need to get creative you need to think of something new and that's what i think it is you need to you need to create a new um path that will allow you to make more money something it's time for you to to use your resources to create that new um, outlet that's going to bring you in the money that you are looking for okay you may feel like you're financially strapped this week like what the hell just happened everything was going well and now the money's gone something like that um, but you know you're headed in the right direction you're making progress so don't worry about it, okay? You have the skill set to succeed, so there's really nothing to worry about. You're really feeling like... It's, this is definitely a week of feeling like you don't have enough money, feeling like you want to bury your money at this point. I just got to bury it and save it because this might not work out. But it is going to work out, so don't, don't despair. All you have to do is create another outlet. Yeah, so you are, you're feeling down. It's like your, your confidence is, st your confidence in whatever you have created or what you want to create or wherever you are financially or in your job, you're starting to feel less confident. You're starting to feel like you're not doing something right, you know. You're try starting to feel like um, there's no way to go up at this point. I'm not going anywhere at this. You know, I, th I thought that things were going to be more fruitful and they aren't. 
you know, so you're feeling kind of down, like, about this situation. But the fact of the matter is, all you have to do is create something new. You have to use your creative ability to create that new outlet, to create that new route, to create that new path that you need to take. That's what it is. It's like you have to use your, your, um knowledge you know to create something new to make this more fruitful you know it feels like you have been trying not to trying to let things go as they've been going and seeing if it would just work out but the thing is, is it's in your hands if you want it to be more fruitful you got to do something different okay that's what it is it's like you have to do something different you're gonna have to get creative so you have to come up with a creative idea that is going to put you back in the money. And that's in your hands to come up with that creative idea, however it fits with you. Um, let me get the last card here. You know, you, you there may be um, that you need to stop resisting. You need to stop resisting... Um, this obsession to money, I think you probably have enough. There is an obsession to money here. There is. You know, for somebody that's watching it, watching it and, uh, and feeling like, I need to have more, I need to have more, when you absolutely already have enough. Okay? Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this it's whatever, whatever you're doing, it's like you feel like you've reached the end or you're close to the end. You feel like you've reached the end. You have to come up with a new idea. You have to come up with a new idea. That's all there is to it. Instead of being withdrawn from the situation and waiting for things to happen, you have to make them happen. That's what I see. It's like you may be feeling like this is a dead end. I'm on a dead end road. We're not getting anywhere. But the fact of the matter is, is you have the ability to change this scenario as long if you can come up with a new idea. Add something to it. And now we're going to talk about love. Maybe you need to share your new ideas, your creative ideas with somebody. If this is, you know, you're in some workforce, you have some great idea, but you're scared to share it, maybe this is saying, go ahead, do it, okay? Or maybe if you are a business owner, you know, and things aren't looking the way that you'd hope they'd look, maybe you've got to do something different. And you do. You can't just wait for things to recover. You have to take action, okay? It's a time of, of you using what funds you have to build a new outlet okay you have to build this new road and it may cost some money to do that but it will be fruitful in the end now we're going to talk about love ah it looks like you guys aren't really focusing on love right now you're focusing on your work you're focusing on recovering from this issue you know what we were just talked about it's like you might have to you might have somebody that wants to come into your life or that's in your life right now but your focus is not on love it's on this financial recovery of some sort you may feel like there's there's no growth in one area of your life and right now that's what the top of the list you've been trying to um, stop uh, or uh, prevent anything from crashing down and that's where your focus is at I need to prevent this loss of money okay so you may have blocked out love at this point I mean you may you may have just not it's not focused I'm not focused on love right now I need to focus on my my financial growth my career you know that's what I see it's like I don't even know where I'm going financially and that's at the top of the list I'm sorry I mean this we should have love coming in and there is an opportunity but the thing is it's all in your hands you have to make a choice do you want love or right now or do you not and for somebody that's watching this they don't they're not focused on love at all they're focused on recovering financially it's like they've hit rock bottom and the shit is hitting the fan and now I can't think about love because I don't I don't have the money to give to a relationship. I don't have the money to give towards for gifts, you know, that kinds of things. I don't have money to go out and, and that I, I need to really focus on my finances at this time. 
and that's what I see uh, uh, as far as love goes. You may be losing out in the love arena because right now you're focused on finances. Let's see if we get, can get some love with these uh, romance angel cards. Remember, you should be should have came up with a question, a question for at the end of this reading. We're going to reveal that card over there. Hopefully, you have your question ready and see what we're going to get for an answer. Now we're getting some two cards from the Angel Romance deck. We're going to see if love comes up. Ooh. Now both of these cards were reversed. I did flip them over. So we're going to look at it that way too. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Perhaps, you know, that's why you have to build your foundation for your children. Maybe that's where it's at. Or you don't want love right now because you don't want children. Maybe you... Maybe there's you're involved with somebody who has children. You don't want to be a part of that. You know that could certainly be the case, or you know somebody wants children, you don't, or you want children, they don't. Whatever it is, this can go so many different ways. It was reversed, so you know children are definitely affecting your love life. All right. The second card is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and this is this could certainly be true for many of you, but the fact of the matter is you're feeling down in the dumps about your financial situation. And so because of that, it's like, I don't even know if I can entertain this new love because I'm not at a spot where I need to be financially or where I want to be financially. I feel like you guys are stable financially, but you want more, so you're feeling like you can't really give to new love even though there is somebody there all right i think there is somebody who is interested and you may be interested in them as well i'm gonna get one of these energy oracle cards if i can even shuffle the deck Door to romance. Interesting. I think there's a new door opening. Whether you want to walk through it or not is up to you. Do you want romance or are you too worried about your money? Are you too worried about your career? Are you too worried about your finances? If you're looking for romance, all you have to do is walk through the door and not worry about it. Don't worry about the children. Don't worry. I mean, worry about if this other person has children. You know, it will work out in the end. You know, don't worry about it. Let the universe drive. Walk through the door. I'm going to read what the card says just for the heck of it. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship you're in, this door with a heart opens onto a new beginning in your experience. New love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong resonant connection. This relationship already exists in energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are protecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from others. You have to love yourself. That's what that says. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open the door. Are you? Are you? Do you want romance or not? That's the question. It's here for you, should you choose to let it in. It's not about the money, okay? It's not about the finances, it's really not. You have your question? Are you ready to see what they have to say? This is the Ask Angels. What do they have to say in regards to your question? Ooh, meditation brings answers. Your, your, your soul already knows, is what this card says. You know the answer to your question. Listen to your inner guide. All you have to do is listen fully, whether you need to meditate or not. If you listen to your inner guide, your intuition, your gut, that's your answer. That's what that card says. You know what you need to do. Don't question yourself. So anyway, this is what I have there, Pisces.
talk to you later.